Everyone, my name is Dr. Nathan Bryan, an international expert in nitric oxide biochemistry and physiology. I spent more than 25 years in the basic sciences, having a bachelor's science degree in biochemistry, PhD from LSU School of Medicine in molecular and cellular physiology. Published over 100 peer-reviewed papers in the scientific literature, translated basic science into clinical medicine. There's this huge controversy in the field now about the use of methylene blue and nitric oxide. And I just speak on the science. We have used methylene blue in the research lab for the past 40 years as a pharmacological agent to completely inhibit nitric oxide production and nitric oxide signaling. It oxidizes the heme iron of soluble guanylate cyclase, the primary target of nitric oxide, and the heme of heme iron of nitric oxide synthase. And that's how really the nitric oxide field was elucidated by using methylene blue to inhibit nitric oxide production and signaling and see what the observed effects are. Now there's probably a dose dependent effect of that. So there's clinical evidence of methylene blue in certain neurological conditions, but I think you have to weigh the, the pros and the cons and the risk benefit. So for using methylene blue, I'm not a big fan of methylene blue. I personally, I would never use methylene blue as a prophylactic or kind of as a biohacking strategy because I'm not going to do anything that's going to disrupt or interfere with nitric oxide production or nitric oxide signaling. Methylene blue does that. But if you, if you choose to use methylene blue because you may feel some benefit from it or you may have been convinced that it provides some benefit or adaptive effect, then I would highly recommend shortly after you use methylene blue to take nitric oxide, take our nitric oxide releasing lozenge to overcome that loss or that inhibitory effect on nitric oxide production that's occurred through methylene blue. And in all honestly, I'll, I'll completely admit, the levels, the micro dosing of methylene blue that are used in the biohacking community may or may not be affecting nitric oxide production and signaling. But I'm just going to tell you, biochemically, it's used as a pharmacological agent to do just that. So just buyer beware, user beware, understand the risk benefits of everything you're doing, understand the mechanism of what you're taking, what it's doing, and what impact it may have on your body.